So this is where it all started for me with the restoration of these mid-century um, classics. Um, this is the um, Vendo um, V Vendo 81, and it's called the 81 because it holds 81 bottles. Um, I started restoring these, um, I suppose, about 10 years ago, but I follow it in a long family tradition of um, dealing with uh, refrigeration and actually my father back in the um, in the late 40s early 50s started working for the American Air Force um, on their US Air Force bases over here in the UK and one of the first things he did for them was uh, refrigeration and of course it uh, follows on now um, on to the next generation and to the next millennium um, here I am restoring these and we've literally you know sold hundreds of these um, uh, of the Coca-Cola brand um, and also I've restored um, some of the much rarer Pepsi machines um, and even rarer the um, uh, um, Dr Pepper and Orange Crush but uh, I'm going to specifically talk about this machine here this is um, the first um, machine uh, in this style that Vendo made and it's called the V81A um, and um, it, uh, and it, you can determine um, that it is the A because for us it's got what they refer to as a small coin door and the, uh, the Coca-Cola embossing is, um, is slightly over to the left hand side. Um, when they, the next model that came um, was the um, Vendo 81B um, and they made the logo slightly larger, centralised it um, and then they um, ended up doing the Vendo 81D where um, again with the larger logo on here they also um, extended the coin door and they put a coin changer in there so you could actually put your dime into the machine um, and, uh, and receive change back out so the, 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 uh, the design evolved um, uh, this particular one is uh, the rarest one, the A. There are very few of them left um, in the world. And um, originally they were all, uh, they were restored, uh, the, when they were originally manufactured, they were all red um, uh, with, with white writing on the top. Um, we changed them to white caps. Um, we find that they sell better. Um, it's still in keeping with uh, what happened uh, with um, many of the models, you know, originally and um, through the Coca-Cola bottling companies that would have operated these machines. Um, so it's in keeping, but when they actually came out of the factory, they were all red with just some white writing on here. Um, this is the full restoration. So I find these machines in the US, um, bring them back over um, to the UK, and we go right the way through the whole machine. So we shot blast the metal parts back to uh, bare metal, and then very similar to say restoring a classic car or something like that, we, uh, we respray them with two pack car paint, um, giving them a nice sort of uh, tough finish, um, fit for purpose and uh, hard wearing. Um, the metal parts all come off and then these are generally chromed uh, up in London. We work with a, a chroming company there who uh, does a first class job uh, using original handles, original um, frontage, bottle cap, um, shrouds um, and all the handle. Um, so take you through the machine and it's a lot of fun actually using this uh, this machine uh, because uh, there's so much theatre involved. They work on um, original dimes so uh, and, and the dimes have cha haven't changed since the uh, 1950s so you can use a modern dime which is great um, or you can obviously use the older ones um, and you simply pop it in to the top of the coin mech, it drops down and then you crank this handle down and then you open up the door and uh, you pop out a nice chilled bottle of uh, Coca-Cola and immediately you hear that clonk. Now that clonk is the, the bottles that are feeding down um, to restock the, uh, um, the, uh, the apertures here where the, uh, where, where the Coke comes out and that's beautifully chilled down. I'm going to show you in a minute how the whole thing works and what happens inside. So if I open up, the fr to, to actually open it up, you have the keys here, um, so it's in the unlock position, and then you crank the clutch, uh, the, hat, the, the handle round, and that's on a clutch system. So, uh, and then you simply turn it round and open up the door, and then inside you have an original coin mechanism, again something that's been fully refurbished in our, in our workshop over here in the UK um, 
You have the coin capture um, cash box here, so there's a couple of dimes in there. Um, the one I've just vended, of course. Um, and then down here you have the uh, the bottle cap catcher. So that's uh, when you when you pop the caps in the front. That's uh, that's where the caps go. So they're all in there. Um, very neat and compact. Lovely, easy system. And then you um, open her up again to go from the small door and you open up the big door. And here we are, check this out. <laughs> um, and uh, you can see I've got her loaded up with, uh, today I've got beers, um, I've got Coca-Cola, Coke Zero, Diet Coke, and I've got some um, Hilden sparkling water as well. So all sorts of bottle size fit in this and uh, we also um, quite often supply them with uh, quarter bottles of champagne as well, which fits perfectly um, into, into this dispensing unit and, uh, and um, we'll just show a picture of that. Uh, coming back down to the machine, so we, um, as standard, and because I've been doing these things for so many years now, I've sort of learned my game and I, and I always replace the uh, compressor unit. The reason I do that is because I wanted to work on a modern refrigerant which is uh, 134A and this sort of, sort of future proofs the machine um, and, um, and uh, allows us to send these literally all over the world so I've exported these to sort of Georgia, Russia, the furthest one I've sent is Australia, we've sent them to India, literally all over the world and the great thing is you know with um, some FaceTime assistance and obviously um, we also stock all the parts here in our store but with some FaceTime assistance if a client ever gets any difficulty with them we can talk them through and if, they, if indeed it ever needs a recharge on the gas they can, the engineer can just simply come along and, um, and top it up with, uh, with the readily available 134A. Um, we use original um, evaporator units, these are stripped down um, and serviced uh, and then inside you've got these these shelves here now these shelves have been zinced um, just to give them a nice sort of shiny finish obviously these quite often go into people's homes or into their offices and stuff so we wanted it to you know have a a, a very smart appearance when uh, when you open up the machine so it looks absolutely superb um, we recreate the artwork um, here which would have been uh, originally uh, what uh, you know that, that would have originally been on there and then inside this casing, so there's like a, there's a casing, this is all insulated in here, behind here it's all insulated just to keep that temperature absolutely spot on. I'm going, carrying on down with the machine, inside at the back of the machine we uh, install a drip tray and that captures any moisture that the evaporator unit should, uh, um, should encounter inside the machine uh, and that stops the, the bottles from icing up. So it just keeps everything nice and cool, just the right temperature. You can, of course, vary the temperature. Um, that's uh, with the benefit of uh, you know the modern compressor. Um, so uh, so you know we really think we've sort of thought of everything. Um, as I say, we have proper sort of you know salaried engineers who work here who uh, who are very experienced with these uh, machines. Um, a superb refrigeration engineer who's. Uh, who's learned his game on these as well, and sort of a, a, a trusted team that have been with me for, uh, for many, many years. So it's just nice to carry on with the, uh, effectively the family tradition of uh, dealing with Americana. Um, and, uh, and now we, uh, we restore and sell these um, through our shop in Weybridge. Um, one of the interesting things about this machine is it, it was only a manufacturer from 1957 through to 58. They made an awful lot of them and they're very iconic looking machines. But actually, um, what the downfall of the whole machine, and you know, it wouldn't affect anything from a, for a home use situation or in, in, in an office or something, is, um, is actually the fact that this door is constantly open. So um, although the, 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 the beer or the, or the uh, coat necks are sort of locked in place and you have to vent the mechanism to take them out, what actually used to happen and what uh, Coca-Cola overlooked was um, you know, the activities of uh, the cheeky young children who uh, didn't have that spare dime and this is simply what they used to do. They used to open up the door, pop the cap off and then drink the drink with a straw and uh, all the coca-cola machines that were uh, made after this after 58 59 all were enclosed and the bottles weren't exposed so uh, that's why um, that's why the design uh, 
went out of production and um, and also helped um, you know make them quite a sort of rare machine and extremely collectible. Uh, they've gone up in value a huge amount um, since I've been dealing with them. I mean, we now sell these for around the 10,000 mark, inclusive of VAT, delivering insulation, and of course our warranty. Um, but when I first started selling them, they were literally half the price, and that all relates to um, the buying price. I mean, when I buy these things in the US, they are you know, they're rocketing up in, in price as wrecks before we get hold of them. And also the level of the restoration. I mean, really, I, I really try not to, um, you know, spare any expense. I want them to be absolutely perfect um, and safe, um, rewired, regassed. Um, I suppose the only modification I do to them, apart from the new compressor, is I earth strap them. And I think this is really important when you've got a metal machine that is, uh, is you know, running off mains power, the fact that it's uh, earth strapped. So if ever the machine went open circuit, then um, it, would, um, it would effectively pop a fuse. Um, and they weren't you know, designed, um, they, weren't, they're only, uh, they weren't earth strapped originally, but it's a modification that I've done. But just trying to do things properly, really. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you'd like to come down and see one, um, we're based in Weybridge in Surrey in the United Kingdom. Um, or you can contact us through our website. Thank you very much.